Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a young guy, 26 years old, who complained of a falling injury about three months ago. He had pain in his left hip that has not gone away, and on this view, the orthopedic surgeon uh, took an x-ray and found that the femoral head looked a little flat over here. It's also broad over here, which may be developmental and can cause pinching, but the thing that really caught their eye was over here, this lucency, worried about maybe a bone tumor over here in the femoral head. The cup it sits in over here, called the acetabulum, um, looks pretty good. It looks nice and smooth. It looks like the joint space isn't too bad on this view here. And here it doesn't look bad either. So again, this flattening is curious, and this lucency over here um, is curious. So they did an MRI to see what these things were. And so this is a view called a T1 weighted image. And we can see the femoral head here it does not look normal. There are these geographic regions of serpiginous low signal. They look like a, like a map, like um, continents here. And this involves almost the entire femoral head. And the articular surface has this flattened area with darkness here, subarticular low signal. On this view, we do see this little spurring over here on the outside. And this is the acetabulum that looks good. But this is a classic case of avascular necrosis or osteonecrosis. The blood supply is compromised and the bone is dying and farting. And this is exactly what it looks like. You get these sharp, serpiginous bands of low signal on this T1-weighted sequence. This is a view where fluid or inflammatory changes are bright. We see fluid in the bladder bright. We see fluid in the left hip joint is bright. All there's, there's patchy brightness throughout the marrow space. And also, beneath the articular surface, there's a little band of brightness here. And we see that there's some similar findings on the right side. So this is not just something localized to the left. So this is bilateral avascular necrosis, more severe on the left, and beneath the articular surface, the bone is weak there, and the avascular necrosis can cause the bone to become weak and then eventually collapse. They also have some flattening, so it may be early collapse already, but this is uh, impending to really drop further and have uh, significant um, degenerative changes on both sides of the joint. This is a sagittal view, side view. We see that Brightness beneath the articular surface. This is anterior, top, posterior. So it's along the top and anterior portions where we have that brightness, which means it's impending collapse. And so this is a case of severe avascular necrosis in this young male. They don't have an etiology for it yet, but this can be associated with a number of things like a, a steroid use, alcoholism, prior trauma. And when things get this uh, bad, often they have to do you know hip replacements. And that's it, a case of avascular necrosis of both uh, femoral heads worse on the left side. And thank you very much.